Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. The annual FAA UAS Symposium to be held in Baltimore. Drone Delivery Canada unveils its largest and longest range cargo delivery drone. And Drone Light Show returns to illuminate the night sky at AirVenture 2019. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program. A weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI. I'm Skylar Vanell. Our top story of the day, the FAA will partner with AUVSI to host the fourth annual Unmanned Aircraft System Symposium, June 3rd to the 5th at Baltimore Convention Center. The event was rescheduled for these dates after being postponed earlier this year. It will bring together stakeholders from all sectors to discuss the rules and concepts that will govern the future of drone operations. The symposium will feature the buzz about what's next in drone technology and what it means for the future of flight. With urban air mobility, package delivery, and beyond visual line of sight operations taking off, the FAA is making progress by safe integration of drones into the national airspace system. Attendees will have the opportunity to learn how to conduct more complex operations and examine how industry and regulators work together to establish partnerships. They will be able to identify the responsibilities, education, and tools needed for safe and successful integration of UAS into the national airspace system. Coming up in the next Unmanned Minute, we'll take a look at the stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. In-flight data has been awarded three Guinness World Records for flights recently carried out as part of a BV loss project with the help from SenseFly in Calgary. The Guinness World Records were awarded for a BV loss flight conducted in Calgary. The city collected mapping data for the development of the first new cemetery since 1940. This was North America's first urban BV loss drone project in a major urban area. The SenseFly EB Plus fixed wing drone successfully conducted a total of 257 miles at an average distance of 1.46 miles from the pilot. Science Solutions and Systems has launched the Wander B VTOL UAS. The aircraft is an electric mini UAS optimized for covert over the hill operations, which supports day and night ISR missions. It has significant range, endurance, and speed. It combines the advantages of fixed-wing operation with vertical takeoff and landing. Three University of Connecticut engineering seniors are working to build and program an autonomous firefighting UAS to battle fires with the help from Sikorsky. Once complete, it will be equipped with a thermal imaging camera to identify a fire, object avoidance technology to steer clear of obstacles, and a softball-sized fire extinguishing ball that will be dropped over the flames. While the current aircraft can only put out a fire the size of a campfire, the goal is to pave the way for bigger technology. The UK government and the Civil Aviation Authority have announced new legislation to extend the drone no-fly zone around airports. The new law would ban drone flights within five kilometers of airport runways. The enlarged zone will better protect the UK's airports from the misuse of drones. The updates will go in effect on March 13th. And that was our Unmanned Minute. Drone Delivery Canada unveils its largest and longest range cargo delivery drone, and it has been in development for the last year. It has a payload capacity of 400 pounds and travels a distance of up to 108 nautical miles. The Condor is powered by a next-generation gas propulsion engine. It measures 22 feet long, 5.1 feet wide, and 7 feet tall. It has a wingspan of approximately 20 feet and is capable of vertical takeoff and landing. It is equipped with DDC's proprietary flight management system, which is the same platform used in all of DDC's cargo delivery drones. This is the same management system used in the fall of 2018 during the company's operations in support of Transport Canada's Beyond Visual Line of Sight pilot project. DDC will be working closely with Transport Canada to secure the necessary approvals to begin flight testing later this year. And our final story of the day. Last year at the EAA Air Venture, the dazzling drone light show made its debut. 
At this year's world's greatest aviation celebration, more than 100 lighted drones will take flight during the night air shows on July 24th and 27th. The Michigan-based Great Lakes Drone Company will use LED-equipped drones to perform a 10-minute custom design the History of Flight show. They are one of two U.S. companies authorized by the FAA for these displays. The 67th annual EAA Fly-In Convention is July 22nd through the 28th at Whitman Regional Airport in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. You can go to their website for more details. And that wraps up our show for today. Make sure you tune in next week as we welcome Sophie Herlock as the new host. Our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head on over to auvsi.org. We'll see you back here next week. <music>